what's up and uh, welcome to the Electrical Solutions YouTube channel. Today, what I'm going to be talking about is 220 volts versus 230 volts versus 240 volts. What's the difference and kind of why it gets confused. Um, so nominal voltage is going to be your system identifier, whether you hear 220, 230, 240, it's technically it's the same thing. Um, it's just given different because sometimes ratings change, the actual voltage change, and it kind of gets misconstrued within the trade. Um, so then you're gonna have your actual voltage, which is your voltage present. Uh, it's what you're going to test and actually get. Um, it can vary from anywhere. I've seen it as low as, I think I wanna say like 219 to as high as like 242 at the utility. Um, there is a certain range that the utility has to provide to be within their guidelines. Now, the other one, why these kind of get confused sometimes is because you'll, you'll typically see a rating on it, which is the manufacturer's operating, operating range. For example, on motors, they'll give you a service factor of 1.1 at 40 degrees C, right? That tells you that the 1.1 is a number ratio, so 10%. If the equipment is rated at 220, you will operate within a range plus or minus that. So 10% of 220 is 22. Now you add it and take it away. So your range operating safely for that motor would be 198 to 242. The thing is that changes and you hear lots of, oh, I need 240 or I need 230 or I need 220. That is a misconception. It's technically all the same. Now how you get it can change. As you can see here, there's three different ways to get it and depending on whether you need single phase or three phase, that changes also. For single phase 12240, it's gonna be phase to phase. Single phase, you're only gonna have two hot conductors and you use both of those to get 240, 220, 230, whatever you wanna call it. If you need also single phase and you have a delta transformer, um, you'll have three legs. One of those including is gonna be the wild leg uh, but you would take any two of those and go phase to phase, it will get you 240. Now when I say phase to phase, I mean there needs to be a load in between that, not just hook them up phase to phase, because you will get 240, but you also get a, a direct short and you can do lots of damage. The other way for to get 240 is on a Delta three phase 12240 system, which will use all three phases with the high leg, all of them included to get you that three phase uh, 240 power, of, of course, with a load on it, because if not, big problems. So to clarify, once again, there is no difference uh, in between 220, 230, and 240. I get calls all the time, hey, will this operate fine? I got 240 um, coming off the utility, my motor says 220 on it, or my equipment says 220. So yes, it will operate, it will not blow anything, as long as all your equipment is rated within that range you're good to go. All right, hope you guys liked the video and thanks for watching, have a good day.